everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm here with a little tour of our laying hen chicken setup. So this was another requested video that I thought was a great idea. And so I just wanna show you our setup that we have for our laying hens. This is the chicken tractor that we built for them that allows us to be able to move them around on fresh grass every day while keeping them contained and safe from predators. It has been working really well for us. We've been using it for, I think four years now, fourth year that we've been using it. And so really happy with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So as you can see, it is a triangular shape. I will link the place that we got the plans from for building this down below if you're interested in making something like this. It was, you know, very doable to make. It was a project, not super simple. There's a, quite a few different things that you need. It takes a bit of time to put it all together, but quite doable if you're into building things yourself. So we're really glad that we did. But it has a handle on this side and then two wheels on the other side so you move it every day onto fresh grass and then it has their open area so they have all of this area down here to be able to walk around on grass and then it has their upper area where they can go to be safe overnight that was one thing that we really liked about this is we have had problems even here in town there are things like raccoons that will come kill chickens there was a fox that killed some of our chickens right here in our yard owls and hawks are still an issue we've seen those try to get them so neighbor dogs too sometimes that has been a problem killing chickens unfortunately so keeping them safe has been a huge priority for us and what we really liked about this one is that it has a two layer protection they have their obviously the outside of the pen that keeps them safe there's the smaller mesh down below so that raccoons cannot reach in and kill them and then the bigger mesh up above and then the second layer is that there's a ramp that takes them up to the upper level and I'll show you what the inside of that looks like in a little bit but at night you pull on this rope here and then that brings the ramp up so that they're completely enclosed in their upper sleeping area where their roosts and nesting boxes and everything are so then that keeps them safe in another layer if something were to get inside the main area of the pen then they can't get at them up inside their sleeping area so we close up that ramp for them overnight and then open it in the morning and and that has worked really well, keeping them safe from predators. We haven't lost a single chicken from a predator as long as we've been using this. Inside this door, you can take a look. And keep in mind, this has been used for a number of years. So, you know, there's accumulation and cleanup that you have to do periodically. But that's what the inside looks like. There's their roosts for sleeping. There's four nest boxes over there. And I'll show you where they have access. <laughs> Yeah, we do have a rooster in there. We bought all hens, but this guy came unintentionally. And I'm not sure how long we're gonna keep him around. He's a nice rooster. So far, he's not been a problem or anything. And I don't know, it's just kind of fun. He's really pretty. And I know that having a rooster does help keep the chickens safer. He kind of tells them if he sees danger and will round them up and get them to safety. He also kind of keeps them in line so that they don't pick at each other or anything. So there are some benefits to having one. Of course, not necessary, but I don't know. He's, it's kind of fun. And when they're enclosed like this, you don't have to worry about him like chasing little kids or being mean to them or anything like that. So while we're on the subject of having them enclosed like this, I know I've had some different people talk about the fact that they are enclosed and they're not free to roam all over the neighborhood. And yeah, I mean, there are different times that we will let them out into the backyard which can be really fun for them but like I said we have had a lot of trouble with predators and different things even down to neighbor dogs and so they're definitely a lot safer when they're in here there's a high risk for them getting killed if they're out loose if the time is right there are times that we do let them come out supervised in the backyard but in general they're much safer and better off in here they get access to lots of fresh grass they're very happy and you know they're alive when they're kept in here Depending Depending on what stages the garden is at, it can be either an option or not an option to let them be out loose. So 
If our garden is really new and the plants are really small, then they definitely cannot be out because they would destroy all the baby plants. Also, some other downsides to having them out loose are that they poop everywhere that the kids play, <laughs> and that can be extra work to keep cleaned up and everything. So they're very happy in here, getting moved to fresh grass every day, safe from predators. They have a good life in here. Here's where you can open this, and then that's where the nest boxes are, and that's where the eggs Eggs can be easily gathered from. We have pieces of burlap in there as bedding. These chickens, they've not been laying very long. They're kind of new to it. And so we are still working on keeping them from sleeping in the nest boxes, which means a little bit more cleanup when they poop in there and you have to clean that out. But the goal is to teach them to just lay their eggs in the nest boxes. We already had to teach them where to sleep once we transitioned them to here. And then, you know, teaching them to sleep on the roosts and not in the nest boxes is kind of our last thing that we have to teach them. So yeah, so that is our whole setup. We've been very happy with this. It's worked really Really well. We started off this year with 20 chickens in here. That's the maximum that you're supposed to be able to fit in this. Last year we just had 12 and we were still ending up needing to buy a lot of eggs from the store. But as these ones have started laying, we're hoping that we're gonna not really need to buy eggs and have enough from these ladies. And I also wanted to add, in case you did see these ladies running around in this video and wondered what that was all about, these are just the four left over from our last batch that we've had for about three years. And so they're kind of done laying. They don't really lay eggs that much to speak of. Maybe one once in a while between the four of them. So not really worth it to keep around for eggs anymore. We found a new home for part of the old batch and these ones are still looking for a new home either for keeping around for fun or for stewing so i still need to find them a new home but in the meantime they're just running around enjoying lots of freedom and yeah so that's what these ladies are all about in case you're wondering yeah hopefully that you enjoyed that little tour if you have backyard chickens i'd love to know what kind of a setup you have and if you have any questions about this one be sure and leave me a comment down below check out that description box for a link to where we got the plans for this chicken tractor if you're interested in building one. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.